Hello, I'm Sys Tim of the Sustainer Store, and in this video, we're going to do a walkthrough of the ID Maker software for making custom name cards for your sustainers. In a previous video, which I'll link below, I showed you one method that I used to make these custom labels for your sustainers. This product, the cards and the tray for the printer, come from a company called Brainstorm ID Supply. They offer a free ID Maker software through their website. I'd like to walk you through that now as I make a couple logos for my Sustainer L organizers. You can come to the Brainstorm ID website. I'll have the link in the description. And we're gonna go up here to Make Cards and New ID Maker. We're gonna hit this landing page here. Scroll down just a little bit and say, Try Free ID Maker. Now, uh, I don't believe you need any sort of logins for this. We're gonna say start from scratch here. We're gonna choose this horizontal template. And because I've used this software before and I've got a, a previous design, it's gonna ask if I want to overwrite it. And I'm gonna confirm. So here we are, we see a front of a card and a back of a card. We'll talk more about that as we get into printing. Right now I'm gonna turn on full bleed in case I have an image that I want to go beyond the card. So now we need some images or text to go on this card. One of my sustainer organizers are using these John Guest valves. And so I think labeling it with the John Guest logo would be good. And another one of my sustainers is using a bunch of different uh, wire nut. And so I want a, a picture for that. So I'm gonna to go to a new tab in my browser here and I'm gonna search wire nuts. And there are several images here. I kind of like this one. It's got the white background. What we're looking for in an image is something with high resolution that'll look well when printed. So I found this picture of the wire nuts that I like. It has good resolution. And when I went to save it, I noticed it's in a WebP format. Uh, the ID Maker does not upload a WebP format. Open this link in a new tab. And then open up this image full screen here. And I'm gonna do a quick screen capture of this image here. And then I've also mentioned John Guest. I'm actually gonna look for the John Guest logo. And here we go, the first result here. This looks like it's a fair resolution here with the pixels. So I'm going to also click Save Image As and drop that. You can see it's a PNG. I'm just gonna rename this JG logo so I can reference it later. So if I go back to Brainstorm ID Maker, on the left are the tools that you would use to build your ID. You can do text, you can do shapes, you can do barcodes, you can do images. Now note there's also an image on the right hand side. This image is a full image of the entire background of the card. I'm going to just pick the image on the left. So let's do the John Guest logo. Open it, select it, and then upload it. Once it's uploaded, it's gonna ask, do you wanna do any cropping? Do you need to flip it around? In our case, we don't. So there it is, it's dropping completely on there. There's a bounding box here with different handles so you can resize it. We don't want this to necessarily bleed off the card like it's positioned it to. So I'm gonna make the logo just a little bit smaller. And then I'm gonna use these position and size. I'm gonna use the center one to center it left and right, and then the center one to center it vertically on the card. Now since I have a variety of fittings in my sustainer for the John Guest style, I'm not going to put any other sizing information, but let's say if you had a sustainer where it's only like three quarter inch or half inch fittings, you may want to add some text here for that. Let me show you how you would do that. You can select the text up here. It's going to drop a text box on here, which you might have to drag around to get out from behind the logo. And you could say, you know, three, three quarter inch and then you can use the controls on the, on the right hand side to center it, to uh, adjust the font size. Let's say we wanna make it bigger. And then you can use these up here to center it. So you can say John Guest three quarter inch. Again, for my purposes, I'm not gonna need that. So I'm just gonna go over here and delete that text. Let's go to the next card here. I'm gonna select another image here, choose file, and I'm gonna upload that screenshot that I just took. Upload. And here you can see it's showing up. I don't think we need to do any cropping, but if you wanted to, if you wanted to flip it horizontally because you like to go biggest to smallest, I'm okay with smallest to biggest. We can hit save and close. 
Now the image is on here and you can do any sort of positioning and resizing. Again, since this is uh, not gonna have any text on here, this is gonna be straightforward. I'm gonna go up here once you, you got your cards filled out, I'm gonna hit next and select the printing layout. So this is where you select the tray type that you'll be using with your particular printer. In my case, I've got the MP tray. It's labeled right on the tray. Uh, which side of that, both front and back, we're gonna print together because this, is, uh, this tray is able to print two at one time and that's kind of how we designed it. And do I want full bleed? I'm gonna say yes, but again, I don't have like, the background's not all one color or something like that where you wanna make sure it goes all the way to the edge. You don't get any thin white borders. And then I'm gonna say generate printable. Now what this is gonna do is it's going to put a PDF into your downloads. And then here instructions have popped up to tell you how to print that PDF from your computer. So all you should have to do is print along with that. Once you've set up the print settings on your printer, following the instructions from Brainstorm ID, you'll want to fire up your printer and follow the prompts to properly insert the tray. It'll then go through its printing routine, and in just a couple minutes, you should have your custom logo ID cards. Here we go, hot off the presses. Well, at least if it was a laser. In this case, it's inkjet. So we've got our John Guest card and we've got our wire nut card. All we gotta do is come on over to our sustainer and pop out the Tano's card, drop that one in, we're good to go. I'm Sis Tim of the Sustainer Store. Make it a great day.